Marhaba. Marhaba. Today on the Edgy Veg, I am answering more of your questions. So I pulled the questions that you guys asked on the last Q&A video. If I answered one of your questions, leave me a comment below letting me know how you felt about the answer. Let's get to it. First question is from AED Yeah. I went vegetarian and plan to transition to veganism in the future. Do you have tips and tricks or anything to tell a boyfriend who isn't convinced that it won't affect him? Thanks. I'm trying to think of what I told James when we first started dating. How did I convince you that this was a good idea? I told him that, you know, it wouldn't affect him. I just would eat what I ate and he could eat what he ate. And if we went to a restaurant, he would have to call ahead of time, which I mean, if I had an allergy, he would have to do anyway. Brooke Baldwin asks, I love all the documentary recommendations. I did have a question. I follow you on Snapchat and I've seen you snap pictures of the supplements you take. What supplements do you recommend vegans take? Okay, so I have my my old lady grandma supplement thing here, and I will go through the supplements that I take and the reasons why. I mean, I don't recommend all vegans do this. This is just what I do, and this is what works for my body. Turmeric powder, just for anti-inflammatory reasons, and it's really good for your GI tract. This is a probiotic that I take, a vegan probiotic. I have, I just love making sure that my digestion is really good. A vitamin B supplement. Um, B is really important. I find it helps with my energy levels. B12, this one is sublingual, so I put it under my tongue. I take some vitamin C. A lot of people take like fish oil, so I take pumpkin seed instead for omega fatty acids and stuff. Biotin and folic acid because I want beautiful skin and long, luxurious locks. I do recommend that vegans take an iron supplement and a B12 supplement, not daily, but like maybe a couple times a week. Unless you're really, really, really specific on like what you're eating and how you're eating and your macronutrients, it's easy to just like forget about those things. Um, so I just take them just like as a safety thing. Isa, Iish? Sorry. Is James fluent in Arabic? And if so, can he teach us some phrases? He's not fluent in Arabic. He knows a couple phrases and he's taught them to me. Shoo habibi, which means like, what? Like, hello, my baby, your darling, or? It's like, what's up, sweetheart? And shoo habibti is if it's a girl. So that's about, uh, that's about all I know. Delta Petra, here's a question. When you wash dishes, how do you feel about washing non-vegan dishes? Getting the grease from meat or cheese on your hands. Also, if you bring groceries inside and carry the bags and they're not vegan, how do you feel about holding them? When we cook at home, there really isn't any, like there aren't dishes that are covered in meat and cheese because I do the cooking, so it's a lot easier. When we go to James's family, I kind of leave the dishes that have had like, if there's like blood or like grease from meat, meals, um, I kind of leave them aside and they're fine with doing that on their own. It just kind of grosses me out and I don't want to stick my hands in it. I don't make like a big deal out of it, but I just kind of like don't do those and somebody else will do them. Groceries, honestly, I do the grocery shopping and we don't buy things that aren't vegan and not meat, so. Christina Rose, I'm sure it's already been asked, but who are some vegans who inspire you? When I first started watching vegans on YouTube, there was um, Eco Vegan Gal, uh, Kobe from Vegetorials, I've watched a lot of her stuff. Jenny Mustard inspires me, but a lot of my inspiration doesn't come from other vegans. It comes from like normal non-vegan chefs, like traditional chefs, and then I take their stuff and then I veganize it. Oh, and on Instagram, Ellen Fisher inspires me. The vegan like raw food moms really inspire me. Their food photos are always amazing and they always live in these beautiful tropical areas. They have all these like cool places that they take their kids. Like I'm totally like mom goals. Like I wanna be that kind of vegan mom. I also follow um, Vegan Food Chair. They just just share food photos. So it's really inspirational if you want like meal ideas. Ashley Yagami, Yagami? How long have you been vegan for? I'm 26 years old and I've been vegan for 14 years. Wow, that's like half your life. That's amazing. Congratulations. I've been vegan for about six years. I love it, it's the best thing I ever did. And it introduced me to a lot of cool people and brought a lot of really cool opportunities into my life. Katie Knott asks, have you ever done any traveling as a vegan? I'd love to hear about how you found crossing cultures with a specific diet. I love to travel. I've traveled quite a bit. Uh, there's some places that are easier than others. Europe is pretty difficult. I grew up in Germany and there's a lot of food that I love to eat as a kid that I can't have now. So that I found that difficult. I mean, when I was in Berlin, it was so easy, but South America and like Central America is so easy. I went to Costa Rica and was raw. 
Um, when we went to Nicaragua, I ate everything vegan. Like it's so like bountiful and like abundant in the fruits and veg there that it's really easy to do. And like those Spanish inspired, like kind of Mexi inspired meals are really easy. So like tacos were really easy, quesadillas, uh, uh, gallo pinto, all that stuff is really easy to make vegan. Anywhere in the states that I've traveled uh, has been really easy. I mean, I've done Burning Man vegan, I've done Vegas vegan, um, I've done LA vegan. I mean, that's like vegan mecca. If you did want more travel tips on like how to travel vegan, check out the how to travel vegan um, video that James did. I will link to it below. Annika Negrin. Do you ever argue over ethics because she's vegan and he's not? I would imagine it would cause <laughs> some troubling days. I wouldn't say argue. We get into like discussions we have where like we both had to be like, okay, this might turn into a fight, so we're gonna stop now. For the most part, I just don't talk about it. Maybe once a month I'll bring it up or I'll say something like, how could you eat, I don't know, that poor baby or like poor pig or something like that. But for the most part, I try not to. James is incredible. I mean, as Omni fiancés for a vegan go, he's amazing. Like he just kind of lets me do my thing. And if he wants to eat meat, he like has it out with his friends or like makes it himself. So it's been very, very simple and his family's been very accepting and he's been very accepting. So not really, like we don't, we fight about all kinds of other things, but honestly, vegan isn't one of them. Miss Polka Dot, question for you both. Are either of you into nerdy hobbies like playing video games, watching anime, etc.? James does play video games. I didn't grow up playing video games, so we never had them in the house. We weren't really allowed to play them. I listened to so many podcasts This American Life, Radio Lab, Freakonomic, Game of Thrones. I'm obsessed with Game of Thrones. Alexis Ventura asks If you had a kid and your family planned an intervention to make the kid not vegan, how would you handle that? I would disown those family members. If we decided to raise vegan children, I don't think it's anybody's right to have an intervention to make the kid not vegan. Like, oh, this is unhealthy. No, it's not. Go f*** yourself. Vested asks, how do you guys feel about a three main... <laughs> how do you guys feel about a three-way marriage? I can cook, I can massage two sets of shoulders in one night. Also, I would make it not so weird, it would be weird. It's very kind of you to ask such a personal question. I don't know how to answer that question. All right, well, those are all the questions that I have for you guys this week. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure that you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. If you have any questions that come up right away and you don't wanna wait, you can send them to me on Snapchat and I always do my best to answer your questions. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Oh, okay, you want to? No. Our noses are gonna chat. Okay. One, two, three. Mmm. The cookie part mm -hmm. is done perfectly. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a coconut flavored.